we're going to look at one-step inequalities. When you solve and graph a one-step inequality, the solving part is just like an equation. Just one little twist at the very end with that inequality symbol. So we still want to get that x alone. We still want to isolate it, and we isolate it by using inverse operations. In order to move that 5, inverse would be subtract 5. So let's subtract 5 from both sides. Uh, x greater than or equal to 2. Good. Now let's graph. Uh, I never make my graphs too detailed as long as those pertinent numbers are on there. That's fine. Uh, do we have an open circle or a closed circle? Well, do we have an equal sign? Yes, we do. Because we have an equal sign, that means closed circles. Uh, x is larger than 2. X is greater. What is a number bigger than 2, 3, 4, 5? All those numbers are off to the right. Everything to the right gets shaded in. All right, what if you've got multiplication? Now, inverse operation of multiplication, division. Let's divide. Left with negative 4. And finally, let's graph that. Open circle, closed circle, do you see an equal sign? No. So that means we have an open circle at that negative 4. X is less than negative 4. What's a number smaller than negative 4? What's worse than owing $4? Owing $5, $6, $7.Owing money, owing more, off to the left. Now, I have a problem that's very similar. The only difference is that negative out in front. And something huge is going to happen here. All right, so let's start this off the same way we started all the other ones. Let's divide. Those threes cancel x. And now we're left with positive 4. OK, why did I put the inequality symbol there? Because whenever you divide by a negative, divide by a negative, you have to flip the inequality. This symbol comes down, and it goes the other way now. Whenever you multiply or divide by a negative, we have to flip the inequality. So when we graph this now, open or close, well, it's still going to be open. No equal sign. X is greater than. X is bigger. X is larger. Where do you have larger numbers? 5, 6, 7, and 8. Everything off to the right. Uh, now we got a fraction. We all hate fractions. That's okay. We're not going to, this isn't going to be too painful. We have multiplication here, but how do you multiply? Usually division is the inverse, but we got a fraction. So instead, we multiply by the reciprocal. Instead of 1 over 4, I'm going to say 4 over 1. Because there's a negative there, I still want the negative out here. Those 4s cancel, the negatives cancel. I'm left with just x. Got to do it to the other side as well. So we have 4 over 1 negative. Do I really even need that over 1? Nope. Let's ignore it. 2 times 4, 8, negative. Did I just multiply or divide by a negative number? I multiplied by a negative. Yes. When that happens, flip the inequality. It goes the other direction. Uh, now when we graph... Open circle, closed circle, there is an equal sign. So at that negative 8, we're going to fill that in. X is larger. X is greater. All of our bigger numbers off to the right. And that's graphing one-step inequalities.